AI is making people rich right now, but most people have no idea how to cash in. You keep seeing AI millionaires pop up, companies rolling out with new AI tools, and influencers talking about AI this, AI that, but how do you actually make money with AI if you're a complete beginner? The answer is AI agents. It's the hottest new way to make money in the AI space right now. And once you know how to build these, you can easily sell them for 500 to $1,000 each to small business owners. The best part is you don't even need to know how to write a single line of code to build AI agents. I'll show you exactly how simple they are to create with a no code automation tool called NAN. Now picture this, you walk up to a small business owner and say, hey, what if I can build you an AI assistant that handles all of your customer inquiries, it even books appointments on your calendar on autopilot, it upsells your products and it never asks for a break, all for just $500 you'd have their attention real quick, right? Because that's exactly what business owners need right now. AI that works 24 seven makes them more money and costs way less than hiring an employee. And you can easily sell these to every business owner in your neighborhood and make a quick $10,000 this month. This is an AI agent. Whatever task you give it, it will complete. It can think and act on its own, just like a human would. And they can also be used to create customized AI chatbots for website owners. You've probably seen these chatbots on big sites. They look like this. Think of these AI agents as digital butlers for websites. When someone visits a site and has questions, the AI butler jumps in to help, just like a human staff member would. For example, if your client runs a hair salon, you can build an AI butler that can tell visitors about the salon services, the prices, and the hours. It can even check the salon's calendar and schedule appointments without any employee intervention. Now, don't worry, you won't have to build these AI chatbots from scratch. I'll show you exactly where to find ready-made templates so you can set one up in minutes, no coding required. So this is NAN. It's a workflow automation tool where you can build your AI agents. You can try it out for free for 14 days by going to the link in the description underneath this video. Now a workflow in NAN is like a recipe that tells your digital helpers what to do and when. Each workflow is made of connected blocks that pass information to each other. You can think of these as steps. You can add new steps to your workflow by opening up your nodes panel and choosing your next step. For example, after a chatbot collects a visitor's information, you can create a next step that checks your Google Calendar for available appointments. To start a workflow, you need a trigger first. Basically, what action will trigger your workflow to make it run? And in this example, when a chat message is received on the website, this workflow automation will start to run. Next, we have our AI agent that is going to take the information from the chat message and then think and take action. In order for it to do that, it will need a few items under the hood the chat model being one of them. Now you can use tons of different large language models for this. One of the most commonly known ones is the OpenAI chat model. So we'll go ahead and we'll use that. You can sign up for a free account on OpenAI to test this out, then grab your API key to connect it to your AI agent. If you don't know how to find your API key, then a quick Google search will help you locate that. You can also select what language model you'd like to use. I'm just gonna stick with ChatGPT 4.0. Now, one other option you want to put under your hood of your AI agent is a memory. You want it to remember the conversation as it's having it. For example, if I say in the chatbot that I'm only available on Tuesdays for an appointment, I want the chatbot to remember that later on when they're giving me date suggestions. You don't want it to instantly forget. That would be really frustrating for a user to have to constantly repeat themselves. So if we go ahead and open our AI agent, we will see that there is an input section where a website visitor has sent a message. It will show you a session ID, which can be used later on for configuring the memory of your AI agent chat. Now you'll also see settings in the middle where you can configure your AI agent so it knows how to complete its task. And then there's an output, which is the message sent to the website visitor. Now, one of the most important ways to control the output that your AI agent gives to your chatbot visitor is with the system message option. This setting works like instructions for a new employee. It tells the AI chatbot what its job is, how to behave, and what tone to use when talking to website visitors. Think of it as setting the ground rules before the conversation starts. So for example, if your client runs a friendly pet store, your system message might tell the AI to be warm, enthusiastic about animals, and knowledgeable about pet care. This guidance helps your chatbot deliver more accurate, helpful, and on-brand responses. Now, one thing you can do is use ChatGPT or Claude to write a system message prompt for you.
view in this section. So I went ahead and I did that in Claude to show you exactly the output that it gives me. Now you can tailor this to the specific business that you are selling your AI chatbot to, and you can add more or less to it. Now these instructions are known as prompt engineering. The more you do it and see the output your AI agent gives, the better you'll get at creating prompts that give you the results expected. Now, as I mentioned, you can continue adding steps to your workflow to add a Google Calendar, for example, or any other calendar that your client uses. You can also decide that you want your chatbot to respond with an initial message when someone first interacts with the bot. There are tons of things that you can do to customize this for the business owners that you work with to make it a helpful assistant for them. So this so far is just a small snippet of what an AI agent chatbot workflow looks like. You will get the extended version. I will share with you exactly how you can get that. And as I mentioned earlier, you will be able to get the framework, the template for this to import directly into your account. So you don't have to worry about building all of these steps from scratch. Okay. So if you don't have an account yet, by the way, you can go under this video. There is a link where you can get a 14 day free trial to get started with an eight in. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you how do you actually activate your AI chatbot once you do have it fully ready. Okay. So you can go to your chat trigger here and above it, you will go ahead and click on these three dots. You can go ahead and open this. And then on the left hand side, you will see where it says make chat publicly available. You want to go ahead and toggle that on and you will see that you have a chat URL that is publicly available now, meaning that if someone goes to that URL, they will activate and trigger your workflow that you created over here. Okay. And again, this workflow is not completely done, but I want to share with you how this would look like. So I'm going to go to the web. I'm going to enter that chat URL. And then you can see here that it is now active. Someone can interact with my chatbot. Now I can go ahead and I can press hi, just so you can see that it does respond. And there you go. Now, whatever parameters that you gave it, whatever uh, prompt engineering, whatever prompts that you put into it, into your AI agent, it will respond accordingly. Okay. So I'm also going to share with you now how you can go ahead and put this on um, a website. So if you get a client, you want to, um, add this to their website. I'm going to share with you where you can get those instructions right now. All right. So we are now back on this page where we can see our chat URL. All you want to do is scroll down and you will see that we are currently in the hosted chat mode. You want to go ahead and you want to change that over to embedded chat. Now this is where you can embed a code onto a website and that is going to create the widget, which is the AI chatbot. Now you can install this code um, on a WordPress site, Squarespace, a uh, Squarespace site, whatever site, if you need instructions on how to do this, all you have to do is go to this hyperlink here. There is great documentation on how you go about installing this. Now, if you are going to put this onto a WordPress site, you will need to download a, most likely a plugin, uh, which is a CDN plugin. And then you can go ahead and you can copy and paste this code. But before you put it on your website, you do want to change out where it says this webhook URL. You want to change that out to your uh, web, uh, your URL that you have here created specifically for your AI chatbot. So that would be here. Okay. You go ahead and you replace that right here. And now you take this entire code and you place it onto your website. Okay. So that you will find instructions on how to embed this onto a client's website, whatever that they are using. Um, and then let me now share with you exactly how you can get over 1000 free templates, including one on how to build an AI chatbot. Let me show you that right now. So at the time of this recording, NAN has over 1400 workflow automation templates available in their library right now that you can download into your own account and start customizing it. Now, many of these templates are available for free. Some of them are created by the awesome team at NAN. Others are created by other flow grammars who are other automation experts who create these templates and they generously give these templates away for free. 
So I will place all of the links underneath this video. I do want to bring your attention to one particular workflow, especially if you are interested in creating these AI chatbots that I did mention here. There is a creator here that you can look for. His name is Wayne Simpson, and he has created an AI chatbot absolutely free. You can use this workflow, download it now. Again, the links will be underneath this video. Hey guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please do me a quick favor. Go ahead, give it a like, subscribe if you like to watch videos like this about making money online with AI or offline with other avenues, then definitely subscribe to this channel. Otherwise, I will see you again in the next one. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.